Hi out there, my name is Barbara Rich, and welcome to another episode of Bifocals. And we also have the other guy, Gordon Recusa here, uh, editor of LML Magazine. Thank you, and also your co-writer on the Bifocal Reviews. Oh, thank you. <laughs> we thought that uh, we'd try something different this uh, episode, and uh, we, uh, family and friends were over, and we were talking about movies and some of the greatest lines from movies. Like, uh, for instance, if I were to say, uh, Look what they did to my boy. Look how they massacred my boy. I would say, Godfather. That's Part how one. it works. If you'd like to participate, we'd be more than happy to have you do that. Yes, yeah, so you could uh, send an email to um, Barbara at Ageless Wonder, which I'll show on the screen here. Uh, Ageless One, the number one, D E R at Mac.com. That's the easiest way to get in touch with her. And uh, just give us your favorite line. If you don't know the movie, that's okay too. You can tell us uh, which movie that you're going to, uh, or you can just tell us the line and say, uh, you know, I, I remember this line from a movie, but I don't know which one it is. So, uh, you know, we'll, we'll research it for you. We'll try to find your your clip for you and we'll show it on the next show but to give you an idea of what we have in mind and by the way this is a game that you can play and there are no winners or losers <laughs> there's no scorekeeping because you are winning uh, every time you just think of something that you want to pitch to the other person uh, for instance she she started off with the godfather and uh, there are of course a number of great godfather lines that we could uh, we could say for instance if around our house, whenever I say, your father, your father, <laughs> she knows what scene that's from, and that's, that's from also the Godfather. Who are you? I am Enzo, the baker. Do you remember me? Enzo. Yes, Enzo. You better get out of here, Enzo. There's going to be trouble. If there is trouble, I stay here to help you. For your father, for your father. Uh, Godfather has... Uh, uh, I know it was you, Fredo. And uh, what's some more? Um, those were the big ones, <laughs> I think. You know. Oh, I do. I do remember. Yes. Keep your friends close and your enemies closer. That's right. Keep your friends close and your enemies closer. Mm -hmm. We know that that's from the Godfather trilogy. Trilogy. Um, look what you did to my boy, of course. Uh, you know, and and on and on and on. Oh, don't forget the cannolis. Don't forget the cannolis. <laughs> <laughs> so are you going to be home tonight? I don't know, probably late. Don't forget the cannoli. Yeah, 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 yeah. Leave the gun. Take the cannoli. Those are all from all from The Godfather. So let's just uh, we'll play it a little bit here. And of course, the the fewer words that you can come up with uh, for your pitch, the makes it more interesting. Uh, for instance, if I say to you, for your favorite movie, I'll say, um, uh, frankly. Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. That's the, a line for the guy. Uh, yeah, right. <laughs> right. But you would be able to tell me what movie that was from. Streetcar Named Desire. No. Frankly, my dear, I don't give <gasps> oh a damn. Oh, my God. <laughs> I was, cut that. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so I'm going to no, go was, back and we'll do that, that again. That was my favorite movie. How right. did I miss that? <laughs> so... So if I say to you, uh, frankly, what would you say? My dear, I don't give a damn. 
And what movie would that be from? My favorite, Gone with the Wind. Okay. Fred, you go. Where shall I go? What shall I do? Frankly, my dear, I don't give a damn. Okay, so we're going to let uh, the people viewing this right now kind of play along. But we're giving them a clue that we're kind of in that area. So think of another famous line from your favorite movie. As God is my witness, I'll never be hungry again. Okay, so again, we're giving you the answer, and that is from... Gone with the Wind. Gone with the Wind, okay. I think they kind of get the idea of what okay. we're uh, trying to accomplish here. Now, obviously, Barbara did the first Godfather scene. Uh, that was in the voice of... Uh, oh, yeah, the Godfather. <laughs> that's right. So that kind, of, th that kind of helps people along a little bit, and sometimes you won't have to, to refer to that. But um, if I say to you, um, make my day, for instance, which movie is that from? See, sometimes you might say Clint Eastwood, but I don't know the movie. Exactly. But in this case, of course, it's right. but Dirty if I, Harry. And if I had said, make my day. I oh, see so you do it better. <laughs> For instance. <laughs> Or uh, what's another one from the uh, Dirty Harry series? Um, you feel unlucky, punk? Lucky punk? punk. Do right. you? <laughs> yeah, right. Oh, you do you? All right. You, you, that's a guy thing. Right. So. I know what you're thinking. Did he fire six shots or only five? Well, to tell you the truth, in all this excitement, I've kind of lost track myself. But Ian, this is a 44 Magnum, the most powerful handgun in the world, and would blow your head clean off. You've got to ask yourself one question. Do I feel lucky? Well, do you, punk? We just thought we'd pick some of our favorite movies and then tell you what the scene is so that you get an idea how we played this and uh, show you the clips. Okay, so we're... I know, I know a line, but I, I don't know. Let's see. It says, is it safe? Is it safe? Is it safe? Oh, I know what that's from. Let's give the audience a, a chance to just think about it for a second. I believe I have that clip. It had to do with the dentist. That's right. We're going to go to it. Oh, please don't worry. I'm not going into that cafeteria. That nerve's already dying. A live, freshly cut nerve is infinitely more sensitive. So. I'll just drill into a healthy tooth until I reach the pulp. Unless, of course, you can tell me that it's safe. Do you remember the scene where um, Robert Redford and Paul Newman were being chased to the end of a cliff, and below them was water? I don't know how deep it was. I mean, I mean, I don't even know how high the cliff was, but it was high. And Robert Redford says, I can't do this. I can't swim. And Paul Newman says, well, hell, the fall will kill you. And that is Butch Cassidy and the Sundance Kid. Let's take a look at that one. I'll jump first. No. Nope. Then you jump first. No, I said. What's the matter with you? I can't swim. crazy the fall will probably kill you sometimes the quote from a movie will transcend all kinds of different uh, disciplines so for instance a lot of times we hear in business meetings, somebody say, what we have here is a failure to communicate. I know that movie, it, Cool Hand Luke with the hard boiled eggs and Paul Newman. <laughs> That's the one. <laughs> That's the one. Wish you'd stop being so good to me, Captain. Don't you ever talk that way to me. Never! Never! What we've got here is 
failure to communicate. You know, sometimes uh, there are some scenes that really don't really fit the movie at all. Um, even in a movie that has a number of great lines and great scenes, my favorite, of course, is Magnificent Seven. Uh, one scene after another, I just love the movie. But there's a scene, uh, and your favorite actor. On the porch. Steve McQueen, that's right, he's on the porch. And he is, somebody asks him um, about this, you know, seven guys protecting this village from 40 banditos. And uh, he said, well, somebody asked a question to somebody who was jumping out of a window, a uh, 10-story building, and, well, let's just go to the clip. You worry about yourself. Are you ready for him? What if he comes now, eh? Reminds me of that fellow back home that fell off a 10-story building. I heard about him. Well, as he was falling, people on each floor kept hearing him say, so far, so good. So far, so good. <laughs> Another one of my favorite films that I quote all the time is uh, this one. Sometimes the magic works, and sometimes it doesn't. Do you know what that's from? Uh, I need more than that. <laughs> no, <laughs> I, 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 I don't recall that. Not many people do, but it's one of my favorite scenes because I've watched the whole movie so many times. It's Dustin Hoffman talking to Chief Dan George at the end of Little Big Man. Grandfather? Am I still in this world? Yes, Grandpa. Hey. I was afraid of that. Well, sometimes the magic works, sometimes it doesn't. of Dustin Hoffman. <laughs> Do you remember this, Mrs. Robinson? I think you're trying to seduce me. <laughs> that's right. And that's The Graduate. Right. You're right. So uh, who's ahead so far? I'm winning. I'm always winning. <laughs> that's true. Okay. Oh, in a movie that you've already mentioned that with the one-liner and the one word, there's always one word that really sticks out in this particular movie for me. It's somebody's name, and I think you've actually done it on the show previously. Say it. You need the shirt. Get the man beater <laughs> shirt on. Not the man. Oh, the woman beater shirt. Yes, the wife beater. This. <laughs> oh, the wife. <laughs> I stand corrected. Okay, okay, but just imagine that I'm wearing the wife beater shirt. <laughs> and okay. that's actually you, but I want you to do this imitation for me because you, you have No, you so do it. Better. It's got to come from a guy. Come all right, on. All right. Stella! <laughs> there you go. Okay. Stella! Okay. And that is from? Um, a Streetcar Named Desire. That's correct. And speaking of Marlon Brando. Okay. What about, let's not leave Streetcar Named Desire yet. Oh. There's one more. Really mm -hmm. iconic scene and line that comes from that movie. I've always had to depend on the kindness of strangers. That's right. Whoever you are, I've always depended on the kindness of strangers. Okay, we're going to take a quick break right now. Don't go away. We'll be right back.